Hey guys, Flavien Vidal with uh, Magazaki Motor. So, now we are with uh, 1980, I would have to check the date. I think it's 1985. Yes, 1985, Suzuki Every With the, like, drill, like a sunroof. Oh, I'm not sure how they call it, but... Uh, so, what can I say about this car? Uh, first, cosmetically, the body is in pretty good condition. No rust, only rust actually. There is rust, but it doesn't matter, and you will see why. The step here, foot step here, so it's a metal piece that's screwed on it, and uh, well, it's not protected against rust or anything, so it rusts out. It rusted out. The other side is better, uh, didn't rust, but uh, yeah, this side rusted, so there's, as you can see, there's nothing. The, the, the body itself is in good condition, it's just this metal plate here that, uh, that rusted out. Uh, so, what can I say about the car? So like minor scratches that you can see here and here, uh, like a little bit everywhere on the on the K van to be honest. Like here also, here, here. Uh, other than that, uh, the stickers are still as uh, they're original and still in good condition. That's that's quite rare. They're not faded or anything. Well, front one is faded, but the side one, uh, the side ones are still like really really nice. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, really no, no rust, nothing. Like a minor scratches on the, on the roof, but uh, nothing bad here also. Small scratches. It's been like uh, you know some touch paint or something that uh, that was put there. Uh, but yeah, overall the body is in good condition. Uh, as you can see here also, minor minor little bumps, like uh, some some stuff that hit it. Uh, just to make sure yes it is the same key and yes it opens it Hop. Uh, so yeah cosmetically so as usual with all the old well all Japanese cars really the wiper the, the wipers themselves have some surface rust so like could be like sanded out and uh, and repainted uh, these ones the mar mirror, mirror, mirror. Uh, also like a little scratches here and there probably from really tight Japanese road uh, you know it touches a wall or something when you when you park but uh, no overall like uh, pretty good the tires are in very good condition like uh, almost new really lots of thread uh, left and they're all the same on four on all four corners uh, yeah, here, up, here, little impact, little bump. So could be like, I'm sure like someone with a little bit of uh, body work like could, be, could do that. The Jav badge. So that looks stupid, but it's actually it's actually fairly rare to one. It's just a plastic one. It's not the original metal ones, but it's still uh, it's still pretty cool. Uh, it's the old school Jav badges. Um, so main defect about this K van and why it's not uh, expensive because those normally are like really kind of expensive when they're in really really good condition they sell for like six or seven thousand bucks. The main problem with this one, see, oh, seats are dirty. The interior in general is not clean. Uh, it, it's not uh, too bad. Uh, but yeah, it could use like some professional uh, detail cleaning, like uh, to spend like uh, two or three hundred bucks uh, and have it like uh, really professionally cleaned uh, would give all the, the colors back. If you look at the, I'm guessing this side is the same. Look at this here, that's not clean. It's dried out and uh, it's very black. So either like to, to do another, like, uh, you know, it's just a piece of cotton board there. So you could just like remove it and like uh, reupholster it, or like uh, or like have it like professionally clean. The seats, are, yeah. If you have the tools, uh, it can be cleaned up. The cardboard, the board there, like yeah, that's probably gonna be tough. The plastic is very nice, like not dirty, but for some reason, the, yeah, this this part is is quite dirty, and it's like that on pretty much all four corners here too. Here also, but the driver's side is the worst. And here, so yeah, with a bit of uh, detail cleanup, it, it 
like yeah it would definitely bring the, the value of the of the cave and back some old Jeff uh, member stickers uh, yeah what else can I say about the cave and uh, so yeah very roomy very roomy in the back as usual be careful your head I'm 6'2 and on this one I would hit uh, I would uh, hit this part here so yeah be careful like papers are flying but it's okay uh, yeah so here as usual you can see that no rust nothing really really clean body so the seat do fold uh, they are mess to, to, to fold it's really mess to fold them properly uh, so this here I think it's to protect the drivers the driver from like uh, stuff you know that might be uh, stored in the back of the cave van with the seat folded so that it doesn't hit the seat in case of a crash it would hit this bar which would protect up which would protect the, the driver and the passenger uh, yeah no that's pretty much it I'm trying to go fast because there's not much light left and I still have like one car to one other cave van to to do uh, so for the engine picks you can see you can see it in the up so it's got an auto choke I know some people really like it, so this one do talk <laughs> when you turn it on. Uh, 94,983 kilometer. Uh, I'm not sure. Ow. I'm not sure if this is the original mileage. Uh, is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, yeah, no indication that it's not. Uh, usually, it's written here that uh, the mileage has been modified and everything. So, original mileage for this one. So that's like 55,000 miles or something like that. For a van, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, when you start it, when it's cold, now the, the idling is really low. It's much lower, but when you, it's an auto choke. So when you start it and it's cold, it's really loud, like really, really, really loud and high, like uh, revs really high, but it's, it's completely normal. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's nothing much you can do against that. So, yeah, that's about it for the walk around, I guess. Uh, you can rev it a little bit. You can see it revs really, really smoothly. You can hear the fuel pump in the back. And, uh, yeah, great. Well, let's get on to a quick test drive and we'll be back. I really have to re-up on this one. I'm really sorry, guys. It's gonna be like just uh, like a five or ten minute drive but uh, yeah there's nothing else I can I haven't even driven it yet so it's gonna be the, the first time for me to drive it anyway all right uh, see you then for the test drive all right we're back in Megazaki so first time driving it so I'll drive like every other cavern that I know up second gear So, uh, how does it feel? So it's really like the first impressions, you know. Uh, can you see on the camera? Yes, you can see. Uh, well, fairly standard from what I can see. Uh, the steering is not very expensive, but well, that's to be expected with those. Uh, downshift very well. Accelerate well too. Uh, brakes. Brakes well do. Uh, suspension are really smooth as you can see the whole car is diving when uh, <laughs> where when I brake uh, but uh, yeah no fairly standard cavern like a really the steering doesn't do much <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's really vague it's not it's not precise it's not a, a precise steering at all Again, it is normal for for Kevin like that. So, uh, so where am I going to be going? Now? Try turning left here. Ah, light, maybe hot brake, but uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I should, I should play with the brakes though. So, so the whole car like dives, up front, dives, up, dives in front. You know. uh, but yeah, other than being a bit dirty, it's really clean. Uh, I don't think there's uh, air conditioning. No. Uh, does the radio work? Uh, yeah, uh, so it's been idling for a while because the, the uh, so as, as I said when you when you start it um, when the car is cold putting it to second gear is not easy uh, when the car is cold uh, the auto choke make it drive like super high it's really really noisy so I decided to, to just uh, well not not let it uh, not let it uh, idle this high so yeah it does have a 5 speed gearbox that makes it like really so now I'm like yeah it's really an overdrive the 5th speed is really really overdrive I cannot turn uh, should I be doing something illegal yeah I think I will Sorry about that, you guys didn't see anything. Please do not call the police. Yeah, no, overall... little bit so you can hear the engine but This one with the fifth speed, like that makes it really, really, really practical uh, if you're going to be cruising on the freeway. Uh, because that's the main thing with those uh, cave. Oh, yeah. So these are actually buttons to turn on the. Here you have the. to turn on the rear. Uh, you cannot see it, but. Uh, uh, so no water, I guess. No water. Not the fastest one ever, that's maximum speed. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Ah, you can lock and unlock the trunk, only the rear, I don't know why. 
but that's to, to lock and unlock the the trunk basically the rear hatch so don't know why they didn't do it for the doors but uh, But yeah, clutch is really smooth, engine is super smooth. Like overall in really, really, really great condition. And really nothing to, to say about it, it's just in yeah, generally good condition. So. Lots of traffic. So yeah, I'm just gonna be driving back to. So as you can see, it's still in the cold. It's really hot outside, and uh, the yeah, it doesn't even try to get hot. So. fast really not fast that's, that's all I can tell you but yeah yeah those those vans with the sunroof and everything with the 80s style you know uh, vans they really fetch like uh, quite a uh, high dollar I wish this one was cleaner. <laughs> I could really sell it for, for more than that. But uh, yeah, not gonna happen, unfortunately. Uh, we don't have time to clean it up and uh, to, have to send it to some shop that will clean it up for us. Uh, so yeah, uh, unfortunately, it's going to stay uh, dirty and it's gonna be up to the buyer, you basically, to, to clean it up. But yeah, clearly worth it. Uh, really, really good mechanic thing. Up. Turning radius is crazy. And we are back to... supposed to park it yeah well I guess that's gonna be it for now guys because I cannot park it there for now so it's gonna be to a cantan yes hi okay well uh, hi no not hi not gonna speak Japanese But yeah, that's finished, and uh, well, if, as usual, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know, and uh, well, I'll be happy to, to help you out, and answer all the questions you may have about it. Bye-bye. <laughs>